Hi uh, everybody, we're back once again with the D'Agostini Model Space Kyosho Hummer H1 kit build here for you on RC Racing TV, brought to you by me, Frank, from RC Racing TV and um, RC huh, Pole Position RC.com. So we've got steps um, 23 and 24 here. Um, now, as I mentioned in the last step, we are starting with the front differential. These are the parts for the front end of the car. And just looking again at our um, digital instruction guide, uh, you can see that it's basically exactly the same as what we did previously with the, the rear differential. Um, so there'll be a lot of familiar steps here. So what we're going to do is um, we'll get our box of stuff. Now we've got a bit of grease left. Um, there's none provided in these steps, so um, hopefully you've you've kept your grease handy. I'm just going to use uh, one of the previous plastic bags just to keep all the greasy and dirty stuff on. So. We're just going to jump right in. Uh, we're not going to skip ahead on this one like we did with the shocks and the wheels and tires. Um, just because it's uh, it's been a little while since we've done this. So we just want to uh, we'll follow everything as we're meant to step by step. So just getting our scissors and cutting open the bags. And making sure that we have everything um, as detailed in the instruction manual. So first thing we do is put the bearing on the output hole of on the output uh, section of the diff case. Make sure it's nice and firm in there. And just going to get our uh, screwdriver and put a bit of, now the instructions say a toothpick, but anything that uh, is sort of pointy will do. We're just going to put a bit of grease inside there. That hole, if you can see that. And then, just gonna spread it around with the diff, diff case there. There we are. And then we put the diff output and then tweezers will do, but you can uh, you can use um, just press that down gently. Actually, we'll get the tweezers because we need to make sure that those that O-ring fits all the way inside there. Let's keep all the grease in place and the dirt out. Okay, next thing is getting press that down. And then we're getting the pin, and we're just going to find that hole where the pin's meant to go in. Not sure how well you're going to be able to see that. Now we get quite a bit more grease on that washer. Because again, there's going to be a lot of metal to metal contact. Actually, it might be easier to put it on the, the 
face of this gear, which is going to rest on that pin. So you see we're going to match up the, the cutout in that gear, like so. If you have to, just give it a little bit of a spin, and there you are. Next stage is to just get these two, oops, facing like that, and then just drop that in. Spread out the gears, and then if you've run out of grease by this point, um, you can as I've said, you can go to a DIY shop um, and get a, a pretty good sized tin of uh, multi-purpose grease um, from an auto parts store or a DIY shop. And you can see once you squeeze it all together, you do, uh, there's usually quite a bit. It's not as easy to use as, say, a tube of toothpaste, but you can get quite a lot of grease still out of this bag. And we're just going to use the uh, just make sure that gets everywhere. Alright, so that's it for step 24. Just make sure those spin nicely. Okay, so we're hanging on to the grease and hanging on to the tweezers because I think we might need them. There's step 24. Sorry, that was step 23 we just finished. Step 24 is finishing the differential. And for the most part, apart from the outer gear, it uh, exact, builds exactly the same as the part we just did. So I'm just going to go through it and uh, might not go necessarily exactly like the instructions tell you to. But in the end, we'll get there. Okay. So... Let's get some, uh, let's get the bearing on there. A bit of grease on that inner area. And where the O-ring is going to go. And when you're putting this in, give it a little bit of a spin just to help spread the grease. Nice and smooth, and then O-ring and washer, and then the pin, which you don't need the tweezers for this time. A bit more grease, and then it's quite easy to get there, there we are. And then I'm gonna put I'm gonna use up some of this grease in this bag for the face of this gear. We're putting quite a lot of grease in because um, these differentials take a lot of abuse. Um, not just stopping and turning and everything, but um, acceleration, braking, and everything. All that drive force is going through these gears. So now we've got 
sort of the, the differential capped, so to speak. And now we've got the ring gear, this bevel gear. It's going to go on that. And once again, we're going to do this in the star pattern using the correct size screwdriver. This is a small Phillips head. I believe it's a pH 2, 3.5 mil across. Screwing it in, but not all the way. And then we're going to do the opposite side. You see what we're doing here. And then we're doing this screw. And what this does is it just makes sure that everything, the forces of these screws is distributed evenly across the face of this metal gear. So doing this one, this one, and then this one. So I believe I used the compass points um, the first time we did this. So we're doing north, south, east, west. And we have an extra screw, don't worry about that. That's just an extra screw just in case you lose one of these. And then now we're tightening them down. Okay, there we are. That's the front differential done. Now just make sure to give it a spin. Make sure that it's spinning smoothly. There's no, I mean, that if you hear that noise, um, that's what it's meant to sound like. Um, and that's it. That's steps 23 and 24, the front differential of your Diagostini model space, Kyosho Hummer H1 here on RC Racing TV with me, Frank, from Pole Position RC. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.